What's up guys, Sean and TQ here with Spencer's Lawn Care. What's up everyone? How's everybody doing on this beautiful Friday morning? I'm doing great. You doing great? Yeah. How was work? Work was great. Yeah? Yeah. How about them snowflakes this morning, huh? I know, they were huge. I'll throw a quick video up here at the end of this, guys, and show you. Yeah, we had snow this morning. Go figure, the day after we cleaned snow, the flower. Snow, rain, snow, rain, snow, rain. Right? So we're currently on our way. We got to find some dollies, guys. A lot of you gave us a lot of good examples, some wooden ones from Harbor Freight. I want to take a look at those. I did find a guy online that said, don't buy those. He broke them in half. So I'm kind of weary about that. But they have some other options at Harbor Freight we're going to check out also. And then I have a few other stores that I found some that are local here also that we're going to go check on. And hopefully we'll pick up a set and head back home and put the dolly on them. Let's go. Let's go. See guys, Mother Nature thinks it's being slick right now. Think you're being slick. Go ahead, keep it up. Mother Trucker. Going to Harbor Freight, let's see what they got. So these are the wooden ones, fellas, but I just do not think these things are gonna hold up. They are cheap, $10.99 and $15.99. But being pine, I think my plow is gonna break though, so that's not gonna be an option for me. Some more options at Harbor Freight. They have 1,250 pound vehicle positioning dollies. They call them for 90. They have another set over here for 109. So these are another option. We thought about just building, building our own with wheels, obviously. But looking at the bigger wheels, the more heavier duty wheels, 12.99, 23.99. I think we might as well just go ahead and buy a set of dollies. All right, guys, so they didn't have the ones we wanted there, but we did pick up a couple things for the garage. These magnetic strips that you can put, like, screwdrivers and hammers and stuff on. We're going to give them a try. Five bucks. Here at Menards, guys. I'm going to run in and see if they got these brackets. All right, guys, so we just got to Menards here. We didn't really care for the ones at Harbor Freight, but Menards has a three-piece snowmobile dolly set, 1,500-pound capacity for under 40 bucks. And they have a notch in them, if you guys can see. So we're gonna grab these up and give them a try. And uh, yeah, let's see if they work. See the grooves in them, guys? I'm hoping I can put the blade right in that whenever we go to move them. My dad stopped over putting these wheels on. They're kind of a pain in their arse. The metal part has got a thread already built into it. I do it that little cool. Where did you get that pain in the thread? Yeah. 15 millimeter. And there's paint inside these threads, so it's tough. And they give you this little tool, I'll show you here in a second, but man, it'll work, but it's a pain in the butt. See, can't get the wrench tight enough. So you gotta take the little tool that comes with it, because it's thinner, and put it in there and finish tightening it. doesn't give you much leverage. I was going to pick up these wooden ones, 
but I got looking at them at Harbor Freight, and man, they were just. I think they'd work great for certain things, but putting a thousand pound plow on there. Well, that's probably work. You probably bow after a while. So that's a rated for, I think, a thousand. Pretty smart idea. I just think the guy that invented this is probably sitting on a beach somewhere. Or for anything. You can put anything on them. I got these ones at Menards. See, that one went right in and tightened up. Comes with straps too, you can even strap what you're putting on down. What is charge the phone? 40 bucks. I didn't think it was bad. Alright guys, we got them all put together. We're going to see if we can put them under here and see if they work. Put your finger in here. Yeah. Now that center one. I guess we can try it on the nose for now. Sit it down real slow, Dad. I want to keep an eye on it. Hold on. Okay. Go real slow. Yeah, I think they're pretty close. I just want to see if that center does. So I don't know if it's going to tilt all the way back towards you onto the ground. Yeah. These are all down, yeah. Is the center up? Yeah. Well, look at that. Heck yeah. Well, that was a little easier, huh? All right, guys, so I'm not sure if you can see it, but we went ahead and put a jack stand under the back side just for safety purposes in case a kid comes out and climbs on it. It's really sturdy, but I just want to be safe there just in case any kids, you know, I've got kids running around. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. These were the cheapest, most durable for the price dollies that we could find to put underneath the plow to be able to move it around wherever we need. TQ hasn't got a chance just yet to move it. He did it without but, me. But I told her how easy it is. Me and my dad can move that thing around 
really simple. If he simple. can do it, I can do it, right? Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> so as always, guys. Keep mowing. Keep growing. Keep making money, boys. I'll talk to you later. Take you out. Peace.